I'll get a large coffee with two cream. Is that everything? That's everything. Yeah. Early morning sunset, hitting the highway, sipping on a fresh Tim's, veering down an old logging road to head out in nature. Doesn't get much better. So after all these years, I figured I finally exhausted all the vlog worthy waterfalls. Um, but I found another and I'm out here in the Folly Mountain and Wentworth area. I'm going to tackle the uh, east branch of the Folly River. There's a few waterfalls along it and there's also one on a tributary to it, the Longbrook Fall. It's supposed to be fairly decent. I don't know if that's like uh, this time of year we're still a little dry. Anyway, what's up? Nice to see you. Let's get hiking. First things first, I downloaded the uh, offline map so I can see my GPS, not knowing what cell phone service I'm going to get. And I have the uh, Gaia GPS app and it's showing three markers on there. I'm going to try to visit them all. I'm going directly towards one. Looks like it is 120 degrees straight ahead. <laughs> uh, I'm going to see if there's a relatively decent spot to start marching into the woods. I know one of the references online mentioned uh, Skitter Path, I believe. I don't see that, but I think the biggest falls, or the one with the big swimming hole, is the one that I'm headed towards right now. Oh, it's rotten. These rotten logs are probably a great way to uh, find a wasp nest or finish off my hike before it even starts. Anyway. So we're headed in this direction. Should be not too far in. Looking at the uh, um, topographical map, the contour lines do get pretty steep looking. Not super steep, but Probably enough that I'll end up getting winded on my way out. But a fairly easy walking, lots of birch, which makes me think these dry leaves are probably prime place for ticks. Uh, so I think I'm gonna keep an eye out for ticks. One thing I found out interesting about ticks, there's a researcher, I believe it was Dalhousie or somewhere in Nova Scotia that discovered that the sap from uh, Douglas fir, that's the same type of tree as a Christmas tree, um, is toxic to ticks. So, um, you know, if you're in an area where you're running into some ticks, it might be a good idea to find a path that goes through some Christmas tree looking trees. They're the fir trees are the ones that have small pine needles. Uh, contrary to the name pine, those are actually the long needles. And the fir tree needles, compared to spruce needles, they're flatter. So they feel flat in your fingers, it's fir. Anyway, I thought I'd share that. Just getting out my phone again. It's easy to get turned around when you're trying to navigate the same direction, but also the path of least resistance. We're now at a steep incline. Um, I don't feel like I have to hold on to anything to make my way down. I'm slowly just uh, transversing this ridge. Kind of, like I said, it zigzags, trying to find the best route to the bottom. And not sketchy, not too much rotten deadfall 
or anything like I said that I feel like I have to hold on to a rope or anything like that it's not too big of a deal all right now that I'm down on the riverbed uh, it's very dry I'm just checking my GPS to see where I'm at because I meandered quite a bit but I'm going to continue to make my way down the uh, the riverbed and I'm, I think this waterfall, if the coordinates are right, should be just up here around the corner. So I don't need my phone anymore, it's found the river. All right. So yeah, I'm at the top of the waterfall, it just isn't very loud. It's fairly... It's fairly tall. Um, it's uh, somebody's camping fire pit. Uh, so, you know, people do come here. I'm going to see if I can make my way to the bottom to get a better look. Um, get some pictures and then I'm going to see if there's a closer or way to get to the, the logging road from here rather than walk all the way up the riverbed. So I'll walk up the logging road just be makes sense. So. Let's just see what's up, um, up here around the bend. All right, so I made it down pretty much to the base, as far as I can get without taking a dip. Um, the hike, the climb down wasn't too bad. I mean, I, it would have been easier if I didn't try to film it. Um, I'm just gonna scooch down here to the water with you guys and see if we can see if there's any fish. I believe there probably will be because as hopefully we saw, I won't know until I get home and look, there was indeed some fish in that upper pool. So it would bode that there is probably fish in the big pool at the bottom. If I can get close enough without getting wet, that would be great. Because those rocks can be slippery and I would slide right in and get soaked, which is not at all what I want to do. So. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. It is a steep old slope right down to the water. There is nowhere to get a good footing. It's probably not freezing, but I don't want to do the rest of my hike and drive soaked. I'm going to forego the, the fish finding part of this pool. That's this is the, the big falls. It's it's nice. The cliffs are pretty, they're pretty nice. Uh, I'm just going to get some pictures with my big camera. And I'm going to see about hiking back out to the road. Hopefully I have enough time to see the other two falls up river. So let's do that and get out of here. <laughs> All right, I just climbed up out of the uh, base of the waterfall. I'm just going to follow the path of least resistance because I know it's going to be a ton of climbing and I'm going to have sore legs and tired and all that but it's great cardio. I wouldn't trade it. If anybody's still watching and uh, knows a thing or two about hikes, hiking has a recommendation for good hiking boot. This isn't going to break the bank. These were uh, around a hundred bucks and the toes come off them and they're not that waterproof. Um, I wanted to look into getting something that I could, you know, cross some shallow water with and not have to wear rubber boots everywhere. Something insulated too. So if that's you, you have an idea, leave a comment. Help me out. So I made it up to the road. Again, I'll have my GPS where that was, but there's, I don't know if you can see it. I'll try to, culvert, <clears throat> there's a creek bed that goes two thirds of the way down where you need to go. Makes walking really easy. Uh, that's the way to go to those falls. Anyway, I gotta make my way 
back up to where I parked and check the time, see if I have time to make it to quickly check out those other two waterfalls. I'm not going to fly the drone at them. I'm going to try to make it as quick as I can. Whew. And I'm just going to check back with you uh, as soon as I find the spot where I'm going to enter the woods.